she came to me last year to a rescue. She was a puppy male mama for five years. I think she lived in a tight space for most of her life just because of her uh, structure. So she has this big like hum when I got her. And I think it's either from living in a really tight space where she has to kind of like bend down or from being so scared her entire life that she always kind of like crouch down. But it has to happen in a long period of time because we work with a vet and we both agree that it has to happen for a long time for her to have that structural change in her bed. She's doing really good now, like you cannot see it, but that it's kind of like one of those things that we, I didn't really, I don't really know, but I think that's probably her living condition before. When she first came to live with me, she was scared of everything. You know, I, the good thing is she's, she loves human, so at least I can kind of comfort her. She's not scared of pets, she loves pets, but she's scared of like noises, again, like anything falling, even if a tissue would scare her. So every morning she would crawl to my armpit and she would nudge my, my armpit until I wake up and then she would lay on my, like right here on my shoulder and I'll just pet her. So it really, like if she can pick her ideal day, it would just be like cuddle with mom and get pets last time. Adopting Polly or like a male dog really changed my life because I think one kind of put a light on like how bad like living conditions for puppy mill is, you know, like you kind of heard it, you kind of know about it, but you don't really see the impact that it has on the dog. And she was so scared, she was so skinny when I got her, but it's also so rewarding because you kind of give them a new life, right? Like you get a chance to show them like how fun life can be and give her the love that they didn't get for the first few years of their life. Holly is very different because, you know, when you have a dog that is scared of everything, you don't care about sit or stay or be because you want that you go them confident, want them to explore things. But it's, it's really rewarding because at the end of the day, you see how confident and how happy she is now, and you're like, oh, I would do it.